Hi guys, I'm actually gonna show you today how you can enable the recycle bin on your domain controllers in your environment. It's a pretty handy feature uh, if you by mistake happen to delete any active directory object like a user object, any object, you know, it should be, you should be able to uh, just uh, restore it if you have enabled the uh, recycle bin in your active directory environment. So you would be wondering why I have this screen up. So actually I got this error when I was uh, enabling the uh, recycle bin in the active directory environment. So I thought like while I would be showing you how to enable it. I would also show you this error. If you happen to get the same error, you would know how to fix it. So basically killing uh, two birds with one stone here. So so let's get to uh, see how we, first of all, enable the uh, recycle bin in the Active Directory environment. So I have a domain controller running here. I have already enabled the act, uh, the recycle bin in my environment. So, so basically, I'm actually just going to close this, close this, close this. I'm going to show you from scratch. So, this is the my domain controller. So, all you got to do is just open the server manager. So, you open server manager. Once you have the server manager open, you just uh, wanna wait a few seconds for it to fully load up and then you wanna go to tools on the top uh, right hand side then you wanna go into the active directory administrative center so you just click on that once it uh, comes up you just want to highlight the domain that you have in your environment. This is just my home lab. So in my case, it's just home lab dot local. So if you let on the left hand side under the tasks, on the right hand side under the tasks, under your domain, you should see the option enable recycle bin. Now, in my case, it's right now grayed out. In other words, the option is not available because I have already enabled it. And you do want to uh, be very sure that you want to enable it in your environment because once you enable it, you can't go back. So what, since once you have it enabled in your environment, you can undo it basically. So, but but I don't see any reason why you would undo it. You know, it's a pretty handy feature. So, so basically, once you enable the recycle bin, you will have this uh, container, uh, and you can just go into this container to just uh, uh, restore any object. I can actually give you give you uh, a hands-on experience right now. Actually, I haven't tried it myself. So let's just delete an object here. So we just go to. Let's just open, minimize this, go back to server manager, go to tools, go to active directory users and computers. And uh, let's maximize this, get rid of this, go to our test users. And let's just delete this test user delete that so the test user has been deleted let's let's minimize this and let's go back to our active directory administrative center let's go to deleted objects
let's just give it a refresh here. So there you go, under the deleted objects. So you see that like you may have to hit refresh here, you know, for uh, changes to show up here. So this will show you when deleted. So as you can see, it was like just a minute ago, we deleted it. So all you gotta do is right click on it and click on restore. Voila, so it's pretty cool. So, and then you go back here and then you just hit refresh here. Uh, there is a refresh, refresh. Oh, there's no refresh button. I think there was a refresh button. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, you just have to select like any uh, container here, you know, uh, any organizational unit here. So just hit refresh here. And then go to your test users OU. And it's still not here. There you go. So you have to refresh it twice, you know, inside the container. So here it is. So it's pretty cool, you know. So I just want to show you the error message I got when I was enabling the recycle bin. Now, now step one is covered, you know, how to enable the first, first step was to show you how to enable the, uh, uh, the recycle bin in your environment in, on the Active Directory domain controller. Uh, and then how you can restore the deleted object. Now I'm going to show you the error message that you may end up uh, getting uh, so let's go back to my Google here. So what I do was like when I get an error in my home lab, I document it. You know, I when I start troubleshooting it, I document it, document it step by step, so that I can share with the other people. You know, like what I did to resolve uh, a particular error. You know, if I'm able to figure it out. So basically, I'm going to go straight to resolution. So basically, uh, I have. The f but first of all, the error. So the error will, uh, this is the heading, a uh, short version of the error. The uh, FISMO role ownership could not be verified. You can Google FISMO role, what they are. Uh, or if I will ever get a chance, I'll make a video on that as well. So this is the complete error. The FISMO role ownership could not be verified because this directory partnership has not replicated successfully with it, with at least one replication partner. So in my environment, I have two DCs. Uh, DC1 and DC2. So when I was enabling the uh, recycle bin on the DC1, the DC2 was off, and which, which makes perfect sense why you would get this error, because DC2 is a partner of DC1. Because it's a member, it's, 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 a, it's a member of the same domain, you know. So I have two DC, DC1, DC2. Uh, for a redundant, redundancy purpose, you know, if one goes down, you have the other one uh, available to authenticate users. So basically, uh, in my case, you know, to cut the long story short, to resolve this error, uh, I uh, had to turn on DC, DC2. So I basically turn on the DC2 and then I logged on to the DC2. That's where I see right here. And then I had to wait a few minutes. Then on a step number six, I refresh the server manager on both DCs, server manager being this uh, application right here. And you open it uh, from here. It automatically opens up usually when you turn on the uh, domain controller, so server manager right here. So let's go back to that slide here. OK, and then, uh, then I try to enable the recycle bin again. And then I got this error message, Active Directory uh, Domain Services has begun enabling recycle bin for the forest. Uh, the recycle bin will not function reliably until all the domain controllers at in the forest have replicated the recycle bin configuration change. So this is actually a good error to get, you know, because that basically, uh, this is not the same error that we have here, you know. This is where it could not find its partner, which in our scenario is DC2. So after I turned on the DC2, waited a few minutes, refreshed server manager on both DCs. After you turn on your DC2, second DC, you have to log on to it, you know, and have wait to wait a few minutes, you know. Then you try to turn on the recycle bin on your, uh, DC, on your main domain controller. 
uh, either either one you can enable it you know it should replicate uh, the changes uh, uh, on either one you know once you enable it on one DC one DC so and once I hit OK here on this message I hit OK on the above message excuse me I just had to kill my sneeze so so I hit OK on the above message here on this message you just hit OK uh, and then uh, what I did I hit OK on the above message and then I was able to enable the recycle bin successfully on the DC one so this is the deleted object container will show up there if you don't have the recycle bin enabled uh, in your environment on the domain controller you will not see this deleted objects container this is where your deleted objects will store just like I showed you in the beginning so that's it for uh, this video uh, I hope I was able to pass on some good knowledge if you liked the video please hit like share comment and subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be putting this error message actually as a title on my video along with a uh, subtitle how to enable the recycle bin you know so if you run into this error or if anyone else you know they can search this error on the YouTube and they should hit my video and they should see how to resolve it so basically in a nutshell you know like if you have two DCs both have to be turned on you know and, and replication should be working between them otherwise you won't be able to enable the uh, the recycle bin you know because they have to replicate the changes you know if you delete an object on DC2 uh, you should be able to restore it from uh, the DC1 uh, vice versa you know because they're the part of the same domain you know so Again, thanks for watching. You have a good one.